Hello, hello, hello. If you're new here, hi. Lovely to have you. Today we're going to be drawing some of the classic Roblox characters. I hope you stick around to the end of the video because I got a special surprise for all of you. If not though, no pressure. Hope you have fun and enjoy the video. First up being drawn is a uh, noob. Noob, Roblox noob, whatever you want to call it. They're the classic character. I quite enjoyed their design, having it with just the simple three colors. Makes it nice and simple to draw. I didn't want to change anything about um, the actual characters themselves, so it's just drawing the characters, not too much. Um, I may eventually, if, I, if you guys want to, I could redraw the characters in a different video, but um, change them a bit. If you'd find that fun, maybe a bit of a redesign. Drawing each of the characters did um, take a while, but I think it was uh, very much worth it in the end. If you've seen any of my other content on the channel, then you would definitely know that I quite enjoy playing Roblox and everything. I mean, half my content's that so far, so. So I thought it would be just really fun and good idea to, just, you know, draw the characters. Because I... I love I love how they look and I always see them like different people like using uh, them as like their avatar and some people change things about them some people keep it the same and I always love to see it because always it makes me so happy it like puts a smile on my face you know because I I just think they're super cool and well not always but you know usually people um, Wearing these type of advert, avatar, av av <laughs> usually the people wearing these type of avatars are pretty nice most of the time. Actually, quite friendly. I've always, I've always met people who are quite nice. If you're curious as to what drawing program I use, I use a uh, Krita, and I've been using it for um, about a year now. I before this I used Magma Studio, and before that I used um, Ag. Agria? Ag Agria? I don't remember <laughs> quite. Aggie? Aggie Studio or something like that? Which is the um, simpler version of Magma. Which, those were both online. All of these are free to use. I would, I would recommend any of them. But I would mostly recommend uh, Critter, which is what I use currently. Because it has a bunch of different tools to it. And with the online drawing programs, um, with Magma Studio, there is um, limited uh, storage that you can draw with if you don't have um, like a membership or an account. So I, I kind of just ran out of storage with that and was like, well, I guess it's time to switch programs. Because <laughs> I've been meaning to switch for a while now, but, uh, you know, it's always difficult. So I, I finally decided to switch drawing programs. And I it took, a, it took a bit to get used to, obviously, but I actually quite like it now and... It's, um, it, it works pretty good for me, uh, the type of art I want to draw, you know what I think. I love, uh, how the colors on this one turned out. It's, it's very vibrant and nice. I love how all the colors on, uh, Noob just, it's, like, so saturated and they just pop so nice on the background. Everything, everything's so bright. It makes me happy. With, um, posing for the characters, I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do, but I wanted to slightly capture the personalities of each character even though like they're not actual characters they're just kind of avatars but capture um the personalities we've kind of headcanoned onto them so that, that was fun so for drawing noob i gave them more of a um laid back open just kind of fun and inviting pose because i think anyone who wears this avatar is always quite um fun and inviting and the colors that they use for um, the Roblox Noob, are, they're just very fun, very bright, very, you know, inviting, very friendly. And I love how the face turned out for this one. I, ju I just love their little smile. It's it's adorable. I also love how the, the little drawing of him <laughs> turned out too. It's, it's, it's adorable. These were all very fun to draw, as uh, you'll see. <laughs> And just working up on some finishing touches, and there we go. Noob, 
uh, fully completed. It took one hour and 40 minutes exactly to finish drawing. I absolutely love how this turned out and it was just, it's, it was so fun to draw and look at them. And on to the next one. Next I'll be drawing Guest. I wanted to go for their classic design instead of the um, updated version of their design because just because I thought it would be more unique with the other variations of the uh, newer like guest designs. I wanted to separate it a bit so I went with the classic design. I also love how the front of their like shirt has the like giant Roblox logo. It was, it was very fun. I, it was actually very fun to draw that logo, actually, and uh, position it so it actually looks like it's on them. I, I love how it turned out, too. And if you uh, couldn't tell already by my um, <laughs> YouTube avatar, my Roblox avatar personally is uh, very inspired by the guest avatars, which I, I just took the character and did a bit of a variation on them. I always love seeing people with the guest avatar because I'm like, ooh, whoa, you're kind of like me. And it's it's very fun. It's always nice to see how, you know, they interpret everything. How they always just like make it their own. It's, it's very fun. I love that with all of these is how people like interpret it, change it, and make it th like their own. You know, put their own personal spin to it. Drawing and making these videos so far has actually been really fun and, you know, giving me it's given me something to do with all of my free time, which is nice because I I felt like before that I was just kind of wasting time, not really doing much of anything. So now I kind of have something to work on, you know, build and feel like I'm actually doing something, which is uh, it's very fun. <laughs> it's, it's nice to not feel like I'm useless anymore. And um, from the feedback I've been receiving, with all of your lovely comments, I just want to say that. <laughs> thank you so much. It's It always puts a smile on my face reading them. It's, thank you. And I mean, oh, oh, thousand subscribers, like, it, what? <laughs> That's, it's, it's completely insane to my mind. I can't even believe it. Physically, if you put every single one of you guys in a room with me, I would not believe you. <laughs> One one point two thousand. That's it's it's insane. I'm at a loss for words. Thank just thank you. If I spent five years on this platform and not gained a single subscriber, I would have been happy. <laughs> but now here we are, and it's just thank you. With the posing for this character, I wanted to I gave them a bit of a just like a light wave, you know simple but to make them seem a bit more like introverted and shy and everything because um of how guest accounts works and uh, being like unable to chat in actual games without an actual account so i love how they would always you know find ways to um chat and interact with everybody else and just be super friendly they're always the sweetest and nicest even though the colors on this are very simple and with just like black and white with, you know, a red accent color, I I still uh, love how this turned out. I think I, I think I like this one out of all I've drawn the most, which <laughs> is fun. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? That might just be my bias showing. <laughs> I also really like how the um, little drawing of them turn out. I think, I think it's just, uh, it's very sweet how they're just like holding the heart. I, I love it. It was uh, so fun to draw actually. And there we go. Finished drawing. If you couldn't tell already, I absolutely love how this one turned out. I just, the colors and the posing and everything. I love how the logo turned out on their front. I think I think that was drawn very nicely. It, um, this one took two hours and 51 minutes to draw, which is an hour more than the last one, but also I like how it turns out more, so, you know, worth it, I guess. So, yeah, I, just, I love how it turned out. It's, it's, it's adorable. Next up, we have one of the, um, I guess, would you, what would you call it? Like the bacon avatar? I know because the other one is like bacon, um, but this girl, because of their hair, so uh, this girl's the um, 
She has the chestnut bun, so I guess the chestnut <laughs> girl. I always loved how her character, like, looks. She's, she's very cute and with her, her little, like, jacket and everything, you know. I love how everything is able to coherently go together, even though it has so many, like, different colors and, like, patterns and, you know, textures and everything. I love how everything's just able to go together so nicely. I really like how her hair turned out in this one, because I usually don't draw hair on my characters. If you've seen any of my art, you would be able to <laughs> tell that. I've been needing to be practicing more on how to draw hair, so I quite enjoy how this one turned out. At first, I actually did <laughs> forget that she had like a bun in her hair, so I had to add that a bit later. But you know, it's it's fine. I got it in the end, so don't worry. I wanted to give her a bit of a cooler, more confident pose, because I, with the interactions I've had with people wearing this type of avatar, they've always been um, a bit bolder and like more fun, you know, a bit confident. They're always like, um, a couple times before they come up to me and be just like, and just immediately be like, hey, you want to be my friend? And it's, it's always so fun. <laughs> she definitely seems the most confident out of all of them. Now I don't see too many like different interpretations or takes or like personalizations of her specifically, but when I do, it's always still very fun to see. If you guys enjoyed this video enough, maybe I'll make a part two drawing some more of them because I think there's still like four or who knows, maybe there's even more of like the classic, you know, characters and everything that are on Roblox. So if you guys would enjoy that, I could uh, make a second part. Also, since I've never really drawn hair before, it was a bit of a difficulty trying to figure out how to shade the hair because it's, it's not quite the same as like shading skin or clothing or anything so i shaded the tips of the hair a bit darker than the rest of the hair and i think i i think i enjoy how it turned out if you have any tips for me um on how to draw anything or anything that would help improve my st style and how i draw i would love to know you know always fun always trying to learn and improve on my art Actually, drawing all of these characters has been the most productive I've been in a while, so that's pretty nice. I was able to draw all of these characters in just two days, which is actually pretty good for me. Usually, I would <laughs> it usually would take me like a day per character, but I actually did pretty good on the time with these ones. With the smaller version of her, it's not entirely my favorite how it turned out. I think the... The posing with everything of her just like holding the heart is a bit too similar to how I drew Guest. So I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think it still looks nice, but I think I could have done it a bit better to um, make it a bit different. Also, when um, researching for the drawings and everything, with her skin tone, they, there was like three different choices I could have chosen from. Because looking up reference images was never like quite consistent because... Sometimes she would have like the gray skin tone, which is what I gave her, or she would have the white skin tone, or she would have just like a regular human skin tone, so it was a bit difficult choosing which one. Um, I ended up going with the gray one since uh, two of the other characters I'm drawing have the white skin tone, so I wanted it to be a bit different. With this drawing, I think it's my least favorite out of the four that I drew. I'm not entirely sure why. I'm not entirely proud of how the background works with the character, and think it just could have been a bit better to make the characters just uh, pop a bit more. You know, it was still fun to draw anyway, so having, having a good time. Ta-da! And she is done. Look at her. Absolutely adorable. This one took three hours and 43 minutes, making it the longest one to draw. Um, and also an hour more than the last one, too. We're just raking up that time. But it is also a more complex character, so it makes sense that it took uh, longer than the other ones still very fun to draw and everything so I had fun I think it was I think it was worth the time I love how all of these turned out and last but not least we got another classic we got the bacon character bacon new bacon guest bacon <laughs> I don't know but uh here they are this one was actually very fun to draw I loved drawing their hair I think it, I think it turned out really well because you know it, it's different a bit difficult um, trying to get that exact texture and everything with how their hair looks because I mean it does it does legitimately just look like pieces of bacon <laughs> but 
but I, I like how it turned out in this one. I love how the character looks and with the design. I think they look very cool with their just their jacket and you know everything. It's a very limited color palette, but I think the blue just works really nicely as being that standout pop color. Their outfit is very simple, but I think it works very well in the same time. I didn't draw the design on the, the front of their shirt because, well, frankly, I don't know how to draw a bicycle. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. I, 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 I gave up. I did not want to draw it. So I hope that I hope it's okay that I just I went with the plain blue shirt instead. I think it still works really well, but it it's not quite accurate, I guess. I tried to get um, as accurate to each of the characters as I could, um, you know, with the colors and the outfits and everything. But there's still obviously some things that are a bit different and how I interpret them into my own style. I love how the little drawing of them turned out in this one, of how they're just looking up. To to the heart curiously. I think I think it's very nice, very cute. With the larger posing for them, I just gave them a laid back like sitting pose. I It does slightly just look like they're sitting in the void, but it could also still turn out uh, good enough. You can hopefully tell that they're trying to be you know, sitting, but it's a bit difficult when you don't draw what exactly what they're sitting on. <laughs> Making this video was just such a blast and I enjoyed every moment of it even though I was extremely tired and sleep deprived during this entire process, but it was worth it I'd say, it was worth it. I think everything in this last one turned out really well with the colors, the posing, you know, everything, the background. I think it always just, I think it all just works very well together. Glad to be hitting it off with a high note. I hope you've enjoyed watching me draw the characters, it's been very very fun. My art style and drawings have, ever since I was, you know, in sixth grade and up until now, has always been heavily influenced by um, Roblox and the characters and like the art style and everything that people draw from it. And I just, I love everything about it. I think it's, I think it's very cute and everything of how people draw in the style. I know all these characters have been drawn a bunch of times before, but you know, I thought I'd add to the pile and draw them too because I just I really wanted to and it was very fun to draw and I hope you enjoyed it ta-da the final one is complete there you go this one took um three hours and 26 minutes to draw so a bit less than chestnut but not by much so it's one of the two longest ones that took to draw but you know it was worth it it was worth it it was very enjoyable to draw and you've made it to the end of the video and I hope it was worth the wait for our special surprise. I finally finished the Discord server and the link is in the description so you can join it whenever and you'll be able to upload your avatars and characters and all of that stuff for me to potentially draw in videos and you know just hang out and make friends, talk to each other. And I hope you enjoy it. I couldn't have um, done it without my good friend Oddish. So go check out their channel. It's also linked in the description too. As always, I hope you enjoyed and have fun. If there's any suggestions or like updates you want for the server, please let me know so I can improve on it and you know make it the best for you guys. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and um, all the drawings I did. It took a lot of work. If you um, want to see the full finished drawings, they will be up on my Instagram, which is also linked in the description. And yeah, have fun. See ya.